Um, we, all of it gets enclosed with triangles, and you can see now why it was that I carved this down. Because I don't want you to bring stuff down to this elevation. I want it to come to this elevation. Okay? And so some of these triangles become very unusual. They become very long and skinny. And so, for example, if I was going to do this one, I think part of what I would do is I would say, all right, I'm going to leave this front part open, and I'm going to close the back over in here. And so... Part of what I have to do is to say, all right, so I, I've got to kind of visualize where the triangles are. Is it going? Is it recording me? So part of what I'm going to do is say, okay, well, I'm going to put one triangle right there. Do you see that? So that creates a triangle that comes along this edge to here, down to here, and then up to that corner. Right? And then I'll do another triangle that sort of fills in beneath that. And then you just sort of keep going as best you can to kind of enclose the sides. So um, go ahead and try that right now. See what happens. I'm going to put this along this edge. And I'll tilt this down until I get that mark point. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of trial and error here. This is not um, an exact science. If you are working in the computer, it can be very precise, right? It's so like you could take this thing and tell Rhino to unfold it, and it'll it'll come out perfect. So but there's that long skinny triangle right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Let's see if I can get it to fit. Okay, like as I mentioned, these are very weird, kind of long, skinny pieces. So this one, I think, fits in here, sort of like that. Yep, and there it is. It's, it's okay. Not excellent, but it works. So I put a little glue in there. Try that again. You can tell, I can tell the difference between the glues because the one that's waterier is the one that hardens really fast. Natalie, get rid of this yeah. sucker. I'll just put it somewhere over there. I don't know. It's just, once the glues go bad, they go bad. They can't use them. So there is one of the edges. Now I've got to create another triangle that maybe goes from there to there to there. So same thing, you just have to kind of, kind of lean it over. And actually, since that triangle was cut from here, I can actually try and place it right there. And I'll tilt that down. 
fast. Some of these get really hard to mark, so. It's almost like you need a long pencil to do it. So, but there's that. So, you put that one there to there, tilt it down to here. Okay, I'm going to cut that whole edge out. And then I want to cut it long and then let it trim in. I'll trim it down. As I mentioned, there's a lot of trial and error, and that didn't work. So, darned it. It's too, it's, see, it doesn't kind of go over far enough. So, I'm going to see if I can cut another one. Like it. But I'm going to make it wider this time. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's definitely big enough this time. I'm going to have to shave it off and trial and error. Here we go. How fun. So there you see kind of the back side starting to fill in. So I've got to create a couple more a couple more triangles. I'll probably do one right in here, right? From that point to that point to that point. And then I'll take and this surface here I'll cut into two triangles. And that's going to give me a completely enclosed object on three sides with one side open. Okay? So um, so this is going to be your homework for Wednesday, right? Today's Monday. Yes. So for for Wednesday, I'm going to ask you to completely kind of enclose three sides and bring it in, and we'll be checking for it that it's done at the beginning of class. Okay? Any questions about that? Okay. Now, um, the other part that I want you guys to do is I have you guys replicate the roof, right? And what I want you guys to understand is that that 
just because we used that shape to make a roof earlier doesn't mean that it's that, that, that that's the way that you make a roof. That roof could have easily been a wall. And so, 10 minutes? All right, go ahead and